Goldstone Resources is an AIM-listed junior gold explorer with projects in West and Central Africa. Yuri Vessels is a lawyer and has over 13 years of experience in the exploration sector and is the CEO. Dr. Hendrik Schlumann is a geologist and has over 13 years of hands-on exploration experience in Africa and is the director of exploration. The non-executive directors are Tim Churcher and Genan McDowell. The offices of Goldstone are located in Cape Town at the southern tip of Africa. Goldstone is focused on Africa because both Hendrik and I have quite significant experience on the continent. We live here and we understand the people, believe that we know the conditions under which we have to work and think that we are able to, to get quickly to where we have to be. Goldstone is focused on Africa because of the continent's vast mineral potential and also because this continent is completely underexplored. Um, I would uh, hope to think that we differ from other companies saying that uh, we have a hands-on approach and we have the ability to take fast decisions. Goldstone is sufficiently cashed up to do the necessary work. We've recently raised six and a half million dollars and we are able to take that money and progress our projects to the next decision-making point and, if all goes well with Omasi, to add to the resource there too. Goldstone invests in African countries with a low risk profile, such as Ghana, Senegal and Gabon. The company's flagship project of Hamase Akrakeri is located in the Ashanti Gold Belt of Ghana, close to the 50 million ounce Ubuasi gold mine. 120 kilometers from there, but still in Ghana, lies the grassroots Manso Amanfi project. Both the projects in Ghana are in the shadows of the headgear of large gold mines and can be considered as brown fields projects. In Senegal, the Sangola permit, which is located in gold-fertile elephant territory, adds further exploration upside to the company's project portfolio. Two pending applications, situated in Gabon in very prospective geological terrain and with promising historical data sponsored by the European Union, complete the exploration portfolio of projects of the company. The Ashanti Gold Belt accounts for over 70 million ounces of gold and is considered to be a prime address for gold exploration. Goldstone's Hamase Akrakeri project is located 15 kilometers north of Anglo Gold Ashanti's massive Ubiasi gold mine. The exploration permits are in trucking distance from this mine and cover the same structure that controlled the formation of the Ubuyasi gold deposit. The Omasi license area was extensively explored by junior explorers previously. In 2002 and 2003, Anglo Gold Ashanti mined approximately 40,000 ounces from two pits, the two pits that we see there today. Anglo Gold Ashanti stopped mining the Omasi pits in 2003 because the gold price was only $300 then, and we can only believe that uh, they weren't able to make a profit on such a low gold price. Our current resource of 280,000 ounces occurs along a strike length of two kilometers. It has been mined previously uh, from two open pits at two locations to 45 meters, but otherwise outside the pits, the resource is available from surface. The exploration upside of the Homasa permit lies mainly along the two mined pits and along strike to the north. Um, one has to keep in mind that the mining at Obuasi, which lies in the same geological environment, is presently already to a depth of 2,000 meters. We also, through our VTEM study, identified a few regional targets, for example, the Adobrim area. Our exploration plans for Homasa will include, during early 2011, a 4,000 meter drill program. Uh, this program will be focused on upgrading our present resource of 280,000 ounces. Additionally, we're also considering to do more geophysical work and an infill soil sampling program. At Akrakiri, an initial resource may be possible from historical data. We, however, will be working similarly as we have been doing or will be doing at Hamase by looking for further resources down dip and a long strike of the existing resource. 
During May 2010, Bendigo Mining of Australia became a 20% shareholder in Goldstone and has by means of warrants the option to increase its shareholding to 30%. Bendigo is a mid-tier gold miner in Australia and adds valuable mining experience to Goldstone's exploration skills. Goldstone, in return, adds the needed exploration upside to the strategic alliance between Bendigo and Goldstone. Bendigo is Goldstone's cornerstone investor and intends to develop and mine Goldstone's successful exploration projects.